Welcome to Corporate Finance. Welcome to session 11, Introduction to Corporate Finance. My name is Greg Pierce, finance coach, and today we're going to be talking about project analysis and evaluation. Some really important uh, simple formulas that you've probably had in econ class and other accounting classes on variable cost and total cost, average cost, things like that. Uh, also, we'll look into some uh, new methods of calculating break-even quantity. You've probably done the accounting break-even in other classes where you have uh, zero NPAT, zero taxes, zero EBIT. We're going to look at a few other break-even identities or equations, cash break-even, financial break-even that you've probably never heard of, and a general break-even qu uh, quantity or formula, fixed cost plus OCF over contribution margin. Um, We'll go over those a little bit later. Also address uh, degree of operating leverage, uh, the degree to which we're dependent on uh, fixed cost. So our learning objectives in this session are six. Uh, we're going to look at how do we properly evaluate MPV? When do we know when we really have an MPV project? Uh, scenario analysis, another what-if type analysis. Uh, break-even analysis, when do we break even on a uh, financial basis, a cash basis, and an accounting b uh, basis. Uh, different ways of calculating OCF. We have the traditional way, OCF equals EBIT plus D minus T, and we'll look at some other ways of calculating that. Uh, operating leverage, as I said before, and other considerations in capital budgeting. Uh, all the great discoveries are made by mistake, and um, when you see a marketing person starting to uh, change the numbers, be careful, and that's the point of this Dilbert uh, cartoon. If you hear someone saying, let's uh, fiddle with the numbers, Let's massage the numbers. Uh, you're probably stepping into some trouble. So be careful if you uh, have one of your colleagues starting to say that they're trying to create a positive MPV project where there isn't one, perhaps. Um, so when do you get a positive MPV for discounted uh, cash flow? Uh, well, A, when it actually is a positive MPV, or B, when it appears to have positive MPV uh, because of our inaccurate estimates. Um, and what we try to do is we try to estimate what we think the cash flow will be in a particular year on average, but it's not going to be exact, exactly right. If you remember the uh, product I pointed out in an earlier session, uh, Cottonelle Fresh Roll Wipes, the projected first year sales uh, were $150 million R&D cost, $100 million advertising cost, $35 million starter kit, $899, 30 patents on this Cottonelle Fresh Roll Wipe. And it uh, turns out that uh, I think I have one of the few uh, copies of that product in captivity. They just never sold. Uh, it was thought that wet toilet paper would be a booming market, and it just never happened. So there is a, a possibility that errors in our projections can lead to incorrect decisions, and it really happened in spades with this Cottonelle Fresh Roll, roll Wipe. This is called forecasting risk or estimation risk. So be very careful when you put your estimates together because garbage in, the old adage applies, garbage in equals garbage out. Um, your cash flows are a key input to the decision and your DCF analysis, and you got to get it as close as possible. And again, if one of your colleagues is suggesting we change the numbers or fiddle with the numbers, be very, very careful doing that. To guard against forecasting, forecasting risk, what kind of questions can you ask yourself? Is our product really better than the competition? Can we really manufacture this product at a lower cost? Or what is our strategic advantage? Uh, who is the competition? And keep in mind this most important last bullet that MPVs positive are rare in a competitive environment. So whenever someone shows you a positive MPV, be very, very uh, wary of that and if it's a very competitive market.